Hello everyone, so here is another question. In this question we have a cannon that is going to shoot a cannonball. So it tells us that we have a cannon of 150 kilograms and it's got a 5 kg cannonball. The cannon shoots the cannonball at 20 meters per second to the right to determine the final velocity of the cannon. So Kevin, you're telling me that the cannon is going to move. Well, yes, guys, have a look at the following. So if you can imagine that we've got this cannon over here. Now, in real life, they, they secure the cannon in a fixed position by, I think what a lot of them do is they have like this heavy piece of something that they attach to the ground. And so in real life, the cannon won't move backwards, okay? So then you can't use the conservation of linear momentum because we said that the conservation of linear momentum only works works if you don't have any external forces. That's why your teacher might have called it an isolated system. But let's pretend we don't have anything securing the cannon. And let's pretend that there's no friction here at the bottom by the wheels. There's no friction inside the bearings. It's just a perfect simple system where it's just the cannon and the bullet. Now, if we had to fire this cannon, obviously the bullet would come out the front here like that. And if you just think about it logically, it's obviously going to cause the cannon to roll backwards slightly, okay? As I said, in real life, they secure it, but if it wasn't secured, it would roll backwards. And that is because the momentum has to stay constant. So if you think about it, if you look at this cannon system before it gets shot, the total momentum is zero. If you fire the bullet forwards, then it's going to have some momentum forwards and the cannon's momentum would have to go backwards so that the total momentum, if you add it up, will still give you zero. Because if the, if the cannon goes to the left, that'll be negative, and if the bullet goes to the right, that'll be positive. And so the total momentum will still be zero. So we can use our, our momentum formula. We can say that the sum of the momentum initially is equal to the sum of the momentum final. We can choose a direction as positive. We then open up our four brackets. Okay, I've run out of space here, but I'll fix that now. And then what we can do is we'll have the mass of, let's call it, oh, I keep choosing objects that have the same starting letter. Okay, let's call the cannon A and we'll call the cannon ball B. So that'll be MA, VA, and that is gonna be initial. Then M of B, velocity of B, initial. So this part by now you guys should get velocity of A, final and then mass of B, velocity of B, final. Many teachers would combine these into one due to the fact that the mass of the cannon and the cannonball can be added because they are together in the beginning. But you don't have to do that. So if your teacher does that, don't stress. I'm correct, and so are they. So the mass of A, which we said is our cannon, is 150, but its velocity is zero because before the shoot, the, the cannonball shoots, I mean the cannon shoots, uh, the cannon and the cannonball are just resting there. There's no there's no velocity. Okay, and then the mass of the cannonball is 5, and then it also has a velocity of 0. Then after the collision, we know that the mass of the cannon will still be 150, but we don't know what its velocity is. Okay, We do know that the cannonball, which has a mass of 5, moves to the right at 20 meters per second. Now it just becomes a simple thing to solve. So these become 0, so that's 0 equals to 100 VA uh, final plus 5 times 20 is 100. You then take the 100 over to the other side and so you end up with negative 100 equals to 150 velocity of A final. You can then solve for velocity final by saying negative 100 divided by 150 and so you end up with a final velocity for A which is the cannon of negative 0.67 meters per second. Kevin, why are we getting a negative answer? Well, we chose to the right as positive. And remember when I showed you that picture, we said that the cannon's gonna obviously roll backwards. And so therefore, the velocity A of the, so I'll just say velocity final for the cannon is gonna be 0.67 meters per second, negative one to the left. So that makes perfect sense that it rolls backwards to the left.